Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said stopping Iran from building nuclear weapons will be his top priority if he wins in the upcoming election. Despite Iran denying the allegations, it's viewed as a major threat in Israel. And as RT's policy reports, many Israelis are already preparing for war. Mushroom clouds, confusion, hysteria. This is Israel's last day, according to a young filmmaker who wants to shock his country into taking action. I've created this movie to share my thoughts and my fears with the world about the potential threat that is coming from Iran. If you ask me the same question two years ago, I would say that um, people don't think about it so much. But today, it is different. We can see the, the majority here of Israel are preparing themselves. I think most uh, mentally. Ronen's grandparents are Holocaust survivors from Romania, a foreshadow he fears of what could come. It took Hitler six years to kill six million Jews, and it will take Ahmadinejad only six minutes. That's why I made this movie. Many Israelis are already uneasy, fearing Iran might be building a nuclear bomb. And Tehran isn't mincing its words, threatening Tel Aviv it will teach it a lesson if it tries to attack first, warning Iranian missiles will make sure Israel does not survive. The center of Israel is a problem, and that's where we have to move forward. Not only that we haven't got enough shelters, it's very, very populated. So everything that is falling in this area can cause casualties. In 2006, during the Second Lebanon War, Rachel Barmer Oz and her family hid here from the Katusha rockets raining down from across the border. She never imagined she'd be restocking her shelter again so soon and for potentially more deadly consequences. Of course I'm afraid from the war from, with Iran because nobody wants war. We want peace. And uh, now I have also some grandchildren, five grandchildren, and I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid because my, my sons will go to the army, and they are soldiers, and uh, uh, I don't want it. The recent war with Gaza was a chance for Tel Aviv to test its Iron Dome missile defense system. But Israelis are anxious, in part because of widespread media coverage of just how unprepared for war their country is. Many bomb shelters in residential buildings are run down and neglected or have become furniture storage rooms, while most of Israel's Arab citizens, about 20% of the population, lack shelters altogether. As the chances of war start looking all too real, the army says four times as many Israelis are collecting state-funded gas masks than they were several months ago. I'm a bit concerned. It's not like I think they're going to be a war, but um, just... Um, subside my fear uh, just in case and with impending doomsday predictions circling the country no one wants to be caught unprepared Paulus Lear RT Tel Aviv